a real nice walnut armoire to open the furniture section with, some goatee prints. Huge collection of player piano rolls. These are mainly newer ones where you should play on your machines if you have one. We have not, nor will we count them. But you can see there are a ton. So you quick count, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, sixty-six, hundred and thirty, times two, times three, you know, four, five hundred reels, rolls. Almost every piece of pottery on this table, although good, is damaged. So it will be sold in groups. Every CBI piece is either damaged or been repaired. This piece has a little repair right there. They're good old pieces, but there's condition issues. Nice selection of furniture for this week's auction. Nice little tan chair. Really like this Asian lacquer coffee table chest. Oop. It opens up. We do have a glass top for that. I just want to leave the top off for the auction so people can see inside if they wish to do so. Nice little Victorian rosewood sofa. A couple of really nice primitives, including this feed bin. Great old green paint, 14 inch boards. We measured them the other day. Check it all the way. Exactly what you want in an old piece. Beautiful English mahogany, maybe even French. Look at those dovetails, real nice and tight. Hand cut. Nice left. This is a truly unique piece, a big mosaic. Sign, bottom right, Asian. Looks like probably Mount Fiji to me. Contemporary artwork. It's another neat primitive here. Check out the drawer. It's the entire width of the table. Very unusual. 90% of them, 95%. The drawer's only about this wide. It's kind of unusual. It's the full width and again, nice hand cut dovetails. Neat 7-up sign. Had an exciting day tonight, Thursday here. We had several bronzes come in. Good furniture, including this oak side-by-side -side with the original bevel glass mirror. This wheel, we were told, is an early automobile wheel. You see it's wood spoked, but it has a nice heavy iron rim on that. Philip 66 airline photos. Here's a cool cabinet. You have a shop or a booth, 8 foot wide, 8 foot tall. It will fit in any booth you have. 32, yeah, 32 drawers, and then the adjustable shelves up high, and you can see you have them filled with primitives like they'd look be in your shop. Some neat Christmas stuff up there. First of a ton of Christmas. Neat little stru structural grater on the top shelf, and there's the box that it came in. This is one of the most talked about pieces we've had in a long time, the science table. Four drawers each side, four swing out stools, each, you know, one for each corner. Be great kitchen island, great in your potting table. Oh, check out the Easy Bake Oven hidden in there. Um, it's almost low enough. You have a big loft, make it a coffee table. You want to put some eight-inch uh, heavy-duty casters on it, make it more of a kitchen island. You can do a lot of different fun things with that. Your imagination is your only limitation. Quite a few pieces of brand new contemporary furnishings. Several coffee and end table sets. Some African type decorative arts. Bottom section to a stacked bookcase, but this is the uh, you know, six drawer section. Contemporary pictures, furniture, nice little oak ice box, Indian style woven beaded piece. Here's a cute little table, little uh, iron or metal legs. And backsplash, a little primitive, pretty cute little piece. Nice little three drawer chest with a mirror. Nice Asian lamp as well. Headboards, painted uh, textile. Some odds and ends pictures. Look at these big boys here. Great frames. If you need to, just good solid frames, this is your deal. This is a neat piece here. Pictures of this on the website. Woven tapestry. Try and get that hung before the auction next week. We'll be a little busy this weekend. We have uh, do have an auction on Saturday down in Belton. So you'll be watching this on Friday or Saturday. Have a chance to come on down if you're watching on Sunday. We had a phenomenal auction Saturday, regardless of the weather.
car, guns, tools, antiques. Keep an eye on the website in case if you miss it this time, make sure you're up on the ball on top of it next time. Neat little British Seagull outboard motor. Antique early tilt top table does need work. But it's you know 1850s, 1860s time frame. Needs restoration work now. Little oak dinette table. Lennox harvest and uh, wheat on there. This is a Thomasville dining room set. I didn't realize they were around this early. It's about the 1920s is my guess. Consigner thought it was early as 1901, but I believe this style was in about 1920. A little uh, refractory style William and Mary table six with the buffet. Beautiful set of Rosenthal. We believe it's Greenbrier, although it's a tad different uh, as far as the blank used. Regardless of the pattern name, coffee pot, big terrine, platters, cups and saucers, veggie pieces, gravy boats, all kinds of nice big set. B&O speakers, dual turntable, big KLM subwoofer, more of the newer furniture, oak, oak table, coffee table and end table set, some uh, prints. Another couple of coffee table sets, the nice black one there, I think is Ashley Furnishings. And then I don't remember who the uh, bow-legged set is. Cool 50s lamps. Nice decorative pieces. The rug is a 9 by 12 Cremon. It is hand-woven. Uh, one person thought it was 80 years old. I thought it was probably 30 years old. Um, little die strip there from the variation of the die they used in that brown. Big rug in good condition. He's a cleaning got some spotting on it, but uh, condition-wise, the pile is great all over. Nice little group of quilts just came in today. Hardly had a chance to even out of photograph, but haven't even had a chance to hang them. The uh, Texas Star is by far the my, one of my favorite three or four of the group. Really nice, big and good condition. Five just little four drawer chests here, you know, coming up on, uh, you know, time to if you have a furniture shop, a little opportunity right there. Kind of dig the little baskets, baskets back there as well. Big pieces of glass, some interesting pictures, more furniture back here. And then uh, this cart here is full of mainly Christmas. Most of it's newer, but there's some vintage. You see the uh, plastic pieces here, some shiny bright stuff, super qualities, Woolworths, some uh, David Winter cottage up there, meter electric tree lights, nativity pieces. And some more pieces down there. Good little bit of group of uh, Christmas on this cart. Some of the last even. Back half of the house is going to be really fun this week. Not a ton of stuff back here, but all is pretty good. Uh, either in good condition or really primitive. So, oh, the prawns on top of there is a pretty neat little piece, almost like a huntsman with hunting dogs. I don't even show you the maple table and two with the home Laughlin set on there. So, surprises around every corner. So make sure you come out Tuesday night, ready to uh, pick up your deals. And uh, we have three auctions in 10 days, 11 days, Saturday, Tuesday, and Tuesday, and then the next Tuesday. So, uh, excited about the next little run of auctions here.